There's a lot of talk about the 99% at the moment and the 1%. And although I have opinions about all of that, I don't really wish to air them because I don't have facts and figures to back myself up. And so um, I just think things. <laughs> and they probably should not be publicly aired. Um, yeah, but on a similar sort of note, the 99% and the 1%, uh, I've been thinking about that a wee bit today because I work in customer service and 99% of the people I encounter each day are lovely, normal, regular people, but 1% are just mean and unnecessarily difficult and I should know better but I end up obsessing over the 1% you know what I mean and it gets me in a tears and I get all worked up and I'm just like <laughs> how could someone be so cruel and yet it's really it's really really not the end of the world and it's not the rule that's the exception so I should just get over it but how how does one get over it yeah, I don't know. Well, um, hmm. see, that's the thing. It's like, in some cases, the 99% gangs up on the 1% and kills them in the case of Gaddafi or just protests at them in the case of Wall Street. But um, I can't do that to my patrons, can I? Can't protest at them or kill them. That wouldn't be right. So I just get glum. <sighs> hmm. Might figure out a better coping mechanism later. Um, or now, because it's Friday night and I'm going to go have a drink or two with some friends. So, um, that can be my coping mechanism. Oh, that's not good. Doesn't make me sound good. Scratch that. It's just that end bit. Cut.